hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be doing a huge perfume haul yeah i went so crazy guys i went crazy <laughs> be doing a perfume haul so i hope you guys enjoy this video but first please do not forget to like comment and subscribe let's just get right on into the video no time to waste so i'm just going to start with the least the least expensive to the most expensive fragrance that i just added to my collection the first perfume i'm going to be talking to you about is yara balatafa i got this because of the recommendations i have been seeing on tiktok it has been crazy like crazy i think i'm missing out on something i think there's something i'm missing out on so i decided to buy this fragrance i went and i bought it and it was yara by latafa i first sprayed it it kind of smelled a little bit plastic but the dry down is so beautiful like it dries down to something something that reminds me of strawberry and cream shampoo you no know? strawberry and creamy shampoo something it's really nice guys like this is a nice addition to my collection it's it's sweet it's soft it reminds me of a pretty girl you know just in a soft life soft girl era she's not really doing too much she's just soft nothing too much she's just going about her business it's simple very easy to wear and i'm really happy to have it in my collection i got this on amazon for 35 dollars so that wasn't too bad i'm just going to read up some of the notes so that you guys get an idea of how this fragrance is top notes we have illotrope orchard and tangerine middle notes we have gourmand accord and tropical fruits base notes we have vanilla musk and sandalwood honestly i mostly smell the strawberry fruit in here there has to be there has to be something like strawberries in here because that's exactly what this smells like to me strawberries and cream let's just spray some um, part of part of it reminds me of shampoo but it's very pretty it's easy to wear you don't really need to think about it too much when you reach out for this fragrance it's easy to wear the longevity isn't the best i get about six hours and that's it but i can always reapply for the price of this i can always reapply and i can always get another bottle because the bottle is so pretty i can always get another bottle and i'm good so i'm not really complaining about yeah there's just nothing i have to complain about this one so yeah yara by Latafa. So the second one should not come as a surprise you guys already knew this was going to happen but just in case you didn't this is first kiss exclusive by Billayard. they are like a perfume house and they make fragrances that are inspired by niche brands they also make their own fragrances as well i've been hearing it good things about first kiss exclusive because it's really similar to one of my favorite perfumes delina exclusive guys i've been using delina exclusive a little bit too much lately i've been using it too much and i was like i need something that smells exactly like delina so that i can give my delina exclusive a break because it was not cheap it was really not cheap so i was like you know you know what i have to get a dupe and i got this first kiss exclusive and trust me this smells 99 percent even exclusive smells like dupes dupes 
<laughs> I've seen that old trend on um, TikTok. But yeah, this smell similar. Like they both smell similar them together. Oh my god, so nice, so nice and top notch. So if you have been thinking of getting the Lina exclusive and you do not want to commit to it yet, you can either sample it or you can get a dupe like this. So this is not sponsored. I can use it, use this to the gym. I can use it anywhere and not have to worry about the price or how much I'm spending. Then I can save this for my, you know, for when I'm actually going out. So the third fragrance that I got was Montel arabian stone i've heard good things about this fragrance i've been hearing good things about this fragrance and i've always had it on my wish list for two years now i think but i've always heard good things about it and i decided that i would sample this so i got a sample i sampled this for a while and i just fell in love and i got so much compliments on it like just so good you know like it's just so good it has those notes of food honka i think that's notes of sugar cane like it's nice this last on the skin like it's very loud it's it's loose confidence and it's strong like you can go i don't know I'll over spray i'm going to keep over spraying i do not care what anyone says but you actually have to not over spray this because this is strong this is really strong guys like this is this beast beast mode like i'm not even joking before you even enter a room everyone is going to smell you with this smells so good i just don't know how to describe it i'm not even going to lie to you and it kind of reminds me of matara instant crush but with something else in there it has that mix of maybe baccarat rouge 540 then instant crush and matara then something else but yes, because it's possible wow the unstung like this this no take it to the grain of salt fragrance is subjective to everybody but this is he's amazing so guys the next fragrance is one that one of my perfume friends on instagram sent me i was really excited to try it i was looking for new gym fragrances actually sent me a sample of um pink pink cotton i don't think you guys need to see but it's just a sample and it's a sample of this fragrance duncan's aroma it's really popular it's a really popular brand on instagram and tiktok and they have i think they have really nice fragrances but this particular one that everyone talks about pink cotton is always sold out and i've been wanting to get my hands on it for a really long time but it's always sold out whenever i go to get it and this oh my god i love this fragrance now wait till i get a full bottle of this because this smells so good this is just like it's like drier sheets but better like it's as if you like you just washed you just did laundry and you smell sweet so people so people that love sweet fragrances and also love plain scents they are going to love this like it's just really nice i'm trying to save my sample but i think i have to spray because <laughs> this is mm. Mm, it's very clean but it's also very complex as well like it's clean complex sweet it's just really nice i just think this is 
I just think this is a really nice fragrance to try because it's sweet but at the same time clean and that's really where I can explain it but it just smells so good I feel like this fragrance is worth giving a try and I hope I get to have a full bottle of it sometime it's literally always sold out that's how good it is I know that when fragrances get sold out like that you know that there's something good about there's something good about it next fragrance I'm going to show you guys that ended up in my collection was one that was actually gifted to me I did not buy this fragrance it was just given to me by perfume brand in exchange for a honest review so this is coconut candy by Anish perfumes I really enjoy the fragrance that they sent me it's called coconut candy so coconut candy this one oh my god this is really nice like I know it says coconut candy but it smells mostly like really sweet light but gourmand it has those notes of cacao it has the notes of jasmine and broxin that broxin note reminds me a little bit of baccarat to 540 I thought I wasn't going to like this one because of the name but this will actually really surprise me like surprisingly i cannot smell any of the the coconut notes in here i can't smell it we go spray it on this <laughs> yeah so this is soft it's not overpowering but at the same time it's really strong because i sprayed it on my arm and i went to bed and the next morning i could still smell it on my arm and I was asleep for about literally 12 hours because I go to bed early these days but that was the story for another day and the last thing it's nice it has that um it reminds me a little bit of alien goddess alien goddess Mugle or something like that it reminds me a little bit of that perfume it's very soft but it's strong it's long lasting it's an extra day perfume so it actually contains like you know oils and all but this oh my gosh she's good so perfect for this spring and for the summer i'm so excited to wear and anish perfumes thank you for sending me this i'm so excited i love this and this is my honest take on this i really love this one this is old satin mood extra de perfume from Mason Francis Scott John. This is called Come as a Shock, but I sold my old silk mood. Yeah, if you guys have watched my previous videos, you know what I think about old silk mood and how it's actually even <laughs> got into my collection. So it was it wasn't no it wasn't the one I really enjoyed. I sampled all the old one from the line. I sampled the old satin mode, the um the perfume. I also sampled the old silk mode extra the perfume and ended up getting the old silk mode in my collection, but I didn't really enjoy it. So the one I really enjoyed was this one old satin mode the x grade the perfume this one is a game changer she has changed the game for my rose and food like profile like she's strong she's very strong and she could tell you that I'm, there. I'm not going anywhere and just one or two sprays of this it's gonna last me for an eternity like it doesn't go nowhere it's strong and like before you go into your room people are already going to know and they will be like oh my god somebody smells so good this is the one i have always wanted 
I've always wanted this perfume. I sampled it two years ago when I got the um the Baccarat Rouge 540 and since then I've always thought about this fragrance and I have it has been out of stock for a while now and I was like you know what before they discontinue this fragrance let me get my own you know and I got it and I'm excited and I love it so much mm, it just smells so divine like had that depth of wood the cinnamon is that the cinnamon notes that the um the normal perfume the normal um satin wood does not have which makes it a little bit sweeter and more wearable it dries down on my skin beautifully and sometimes you know it can almost almost give up the kind of baby powder scent as it keeps going which makes it cozy and it makes it you know feel like i'm to just you know wrap myself around you kind of vibe it just gives that vibe you know <laughs> this is really nice if you have not sampled anything from the old line from Mason francisco Jean, i think you should definitely I think they are definitely worth something you would definitely find something in that line that you would like i know that a lot of people might like the old silk mood and some people may not like this one and a lot of people might love this one and they may not like the old silk mood it's really subjective you know but definitely give this a try it's definitely my most expensive fragrance I love today she's my most expensive but i'm pretty sure that this bottle she's gonna last me a while like she's gonna last me about you know two years because this is potent i do not need to spray i do not need to spray rid of this because everyone is going to know me and i've gotten so much compliments on this as well like I wore this the other day and my sister was like, oh my gosh, I can literally smell you through my face mask. It smells so good. And I was like, thank you. I love compliments. By the time this video is up, I would have an unboxing video of this perfume on my Instagram. So go check it out. It's nice. And this, without further ado, is madawi by i think it's arabian old madawi yeah and this one i don't know what's up with the cap though this is madawi arabian old this one came in two days ago and i blind bought this one i did not sample before buying Honestly, I did not know what this fragrance smelled like before I got it. All I know is that a lot of people talked about how good this smells on TikTok and Instagram and I possibly bought this. I know I shouldn't have. At this time, I actually do love what I'm smelling, but I need to sample this one. Like take a while to spray it on my arms but i do know what i'm smelling you know it's very fruity and i can smell the musk fruit musk and it has food in there as well the fruity musky food with a nice combo with peach you know blossom it has those notes of apple as well just a tad bit spicy you know a little bit spicy it's really nice but i'm not gonna lie to you guys my nose is still getting used to what i'm smelling in this so i will have to come later and i'm definitely gonna do i'm definitely gonna do a review on this one definitely That's 
an apple blossom, middle notes, pineapple blossom, base notes, moss, white rose, and patchouli. I just have to give this a try and I'm going to get back to you guys on this. I'm going to get back to you guys on this because I'm still trying to understand how this smells like to my nose. So yeah. Madawi was my last one. And yeah. Okay guys, don't be like me. Always sample your fragrances before buying and all. But this was just a one time thing. I usually do not go this crazy. <laughs> but I, was, I just saw a lot of nice fragrances that I've always had my eyes on. And I was like, you know, let me treat myself. <laughs> And I really do like these new fragrances in my collection. So which one do you have in your collection? Which one would you love to hear more about? Like which one would you like an exclusive review on? I'll be more than happy to do that, by the way. So if we could get back to you guys on Madawi, I still need to get used to. It does smell good though. I still need to get used to how it smells and I'll get back to you guys. So for now, please not forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back with more videos. See you next time.